Hi and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning Videos. Long term effects of exercise Muscular skeletal system and cardio respiratory system. Long term effects of exercise Regular aerobic and anaerobic exercise has significant positive long term effects on your muscular skeletal system and your cardio respiratory system. The adaptations that take place as a result of regular exercise ensure that you can work for longer and at a higher intensity. An adaptation is a positive physical change that will help in the developing your performance. Key terms. Muscular skeletal system, the name given to the combined body systems that involve your muscles and your skeleton. Cardio respiratory system, the name given to the combined body system that involves your cardiovascular system and your respiratory system. Long term effects of exercise on the muscular skeletal system. There are three adaptations to the muscular skeletal system that take place as a result of regular exercise. An increase in bone density, an increased strength of ligaments and tendons, and muscle hypertrophy. The long-term effects of exercise on the muscular skeletal system. The adaptation is the increase in bone density. This is when the bones are put under stress during exercise and they adapt by becoming thicker and heavier, more dense, to prevent fractures occurring. An example of this being a benefit for a performance is gymnasts need strong bones because they tend to fall a lot when learning new skills. If they had weak bones, they would suffer from a lot of fractures. Increased strength of ligaments and tendons. Ligaments and tendons are stretched during exercise and they adapt by becoming thicker and stronger to prevent them from tearing. An example of this, a basketball player needs strong tendons and ligaments because they need to change direction quickly and jump which puts a lot of pressure on the tendons and ligaments in the knees and ankles. Adaptation, muscle hypertrophy. When a muscle is trained, small tears are created. As they heal, they develop and become thicker. This process is called hypertrophy, and it means that the muscles adapt to exercise by increasing in size and producing greater strength. An example of this, a rower needs large muscles that produce high levels of strength in their upper and lower body to be able to overcome resistance provided by the water. The long-term effects of exercise on the cardiorespiratory system. There are five adaptations of the cardiorespiratory system that take place as a result of regular aerobic and anaerobic exercise. Cardiac hypertrophy, increase the electricity of the muscle walls and the arteries and the veins. Increase the number of red blood cells. Capillarization and increase in the number of alveoli. Increased strength of the diaphragm, intercostal muscles, leads to an increase in tidal volume and vital capacity. An adaptation, cardiac hypertrophy. When you exercise regularly, your heart, just like the voluntary muscles, increases in size and becomes stronger. Cardiac hypertrophy has an impact on the values in the cardiac equation. Here is the cardiac equation. Stroke volume times heart rate equals cardiac output. When your heart is stronger, it is able to pump out blood per beat, even when you are resting. This means it does not have to work as hard and your resting heart rate lowers. Because your resting stroke volume increases, your maximum cardiac output also increases. Your heart is able to deliver more blood and therefore more oxygen to your working muscles and remove more carbon dioxide and waste products such as lactic acid. Increase the elasticity of the muscles, walls and arteries and veins. The more elastic the muscular walls and the veins arteries, the more they can dilate and constrict. Oxygen is delivered to the working muscles faster and your resting blood pressure drops. Another adaptation, it increases the number of red blood cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen to working muscles. The more red blood cells a performer has, the more oxygen can be carried to their working muscles. Capillarization, an increase in the number of alveoli. Capillarization results into an increase in the number of capillaries wrapping around the alveoli. The number of alveoli also increases in the lungs. More capillaries and alveoli means a greater level of gaseous exchange can take place. A performer is therefore able to deliver more oxygen to their working muscles and remove waste products quickly. Consequently, they can work aerobically for longer periods of time. The final adaptation is an increased strength of the diaphragm and intercostal muscles, leads to an increase in tidal volume and vital capacity. An increase in the strength of the diaphragm and intercostal muscles has an impact on the, the respiratory equation. Here is the respiratory equation. Tidal volume times frequency equals minute ventilation. 
When your diaphragm and intercostal muscles are stronger, you can breathe more deeply. This increases your tidal volume, the amount of air you can inhale and exhale with each breath. It also increases your vital capacity, the maximum amount of air exhaled following a maximum inhalation. As a consequence, more oxygen can be brought into the body and delivered to the working muscles.